You may have heard about this super scary Chinese weather slash spy balloon that was flying over the United States and it was taking pictures of military bases all around the country. Guys, let's pretend for a moment that it's not what the Chinese say it is, it's an actual spy balloon. It would be the most obvious and it would be the most stupidly obvious spying that the Chinese could possibly do on us, okay? The Chinese, and not just the Chinese, right? Every government has way more sophisticated ways of spying than that. In fact, the, a balloon is so specific that probably wouldn't use it at all. And that kind of gets to the root of this whole conversation and why it's so silly. Like people like lost their, their goofy minds about this stupid balloon. And it's like, hey, I hate to break it to you guys. We, you know, we signed permanent normal trade relations with China. We gave them loads of our IP. Uh, it's our intellectual property. We have Chinese applications and cell phones and, and government run programs that we use in the US, you know, that, that the Chinese government has access to. People use Alibaba, um, which is a Chinese store. They give them their data willfully. Guys, if the Chinese government wanted information on the US, there was a million better ways they could have done it than flying a stupid balloon over. Not to mention, by the way, and this isn't just something that happens with the Chinese, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, like, make them out to be some particular villain. We spy on all of our allies and all of our enemies. In, during the Trump administration, if you remember, he was bragging about having secret information on President Emmanuel, Mac Emmanuel Macron of France. Um, farther back than that, there, I believe during the Obama administration, there was a leak of classified information that implicated Angela Merkel, the chancellor of Germany at the time. So the point is, we, we the United States, and, and our allies, and every other country, everybody smile on everybody, okay? So try, try and keep the, the kind of weather balloon story kind of in that context, right? That we're not, you know, we're not suddenly, the U.S., us, is not suddenly the victim of like some great, super complex spy attack. The Chinese probably know all sorts of stuff about us. And it's not just the Chinese, right? I'm sure the Japanese know. I'm sure that our, our UK allies know, the French, the Germans, whoever else, right? I am sure that there are spies from all sorts of country all over the place. And so they're gathering information and we're gathering information on them. And, and you know, with any luck, we won't have to use it. But that, that information, it's, it's flying all over the place, guys. Right, you've seen some spy movies, right? People go in, they're dressed as regular people, you have no idea who they are, and they're just they're listening in, they're catching conversations when they can, they're doing all sorts of stuff to be spies. That's what spies do. They collect intelligence about sensitive things. And you don't have to send something super obvious being like, Hey, I am a giant spy balloon, please fire a missile at me. And so then the other thing that brings me to is like Shooting it down, like, all you're going to do is, is annoy the Chinese, now, which we ended up doing. And look, they're annoyed. I think they're hemming and hawing for no reason. I mean, ultimately, I think this whole conversation is really silly because it, if it, it, let's go back, let's get the benefit of the doubt, say it was a weather balloon. Okay, so we shot down a weather balloon. Dude, there are weather satellites all over the world. Did you really need that one particular weather balloon? And by the way, even if you did that one weather balloon it was probably broadcasting the information it was getting via radio waves or up to a satellite or over to someone on the ground somewhere in china the entire time so you just cut short its mission whatever its mission was going to be the, the, the point is guys the point is when you see a story like this that grabs these huge major headlines and people are freaking out and they're like oh we have to have like a hearing on it or whatever we have to shoot it out of the sky and it's a big threat it's just the news media, we, we grab onto things that are, that are flashy and that, 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 you know, that are going to grab eyeballs because that's what media is. It's about eyeballs, right? It's about how can we get people to watch our content. And so, you know, this was kind of a very visible thing and like people made memes about it and it was a whole, like, it became a whole thing that it didn't need to become. It could have gone the whole time it was over the U.S. with no one caring. But we made it into a big thing because it was going to, you know, it, it took a nation state that we already kind of have on our official state enemies list. Um, it, it took something that people are already afraid about, which is, which is spying by, by a quote unquote hostile power. And it just combined these things to create fear and panic and 
and eyeballs, right? Like no one's lives improved, no one's lives got worse. Well, maybe the operator of the balloon, but like you get the point. The whole thing is kind of silly and I really wish that that news media in general would do a better job of saying, hey, this is a nothing burger. There's more important stuff to be to be paying attention to in the world of our media. So that's that's my take on it. I, I really hope that, you know, when you go back into the world and you're thinking about kind of stories like this that are kind of the big eyeball catching, just try try and think a little deeper, right, about the story. Does this matter? Right. And that's that's really what media should be. It should be about the stuff that matters. So when you're ingesting media, when you're seeing these big eye catching headlines, just just take a think. Does this matter? It might not. Thank you so much for watching this video from Let Them Eat Bread. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Twitch and on Facebook where announcements about our page are kept. We make videos every week and you can find all of our videos at YouTube.com at sign, let them eat bread. Thanks again and see you next time.